Hi guys, this is Victoria. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how am I packing my carry-on luggage as well as my backpack that I'm bringing on a four-day trip to Cyprus where we are going to fly. So yeah, we have to fit into the requirements of the flight <laughs> with this trip and with the packing. So I'm gonna run you through the process how I am doing my packing. First, I am always checking the weather. How is the weather gonna be at the location where I'm traveling to? And then accordingly, I'm gonna choose uh, the clothes. Uh, I put together some outfits. If, if I'm traveling for just a few days, then I definitely just choose the outfits for the activities that we are planning to do. And I try to choose outfits which can be mixed and matched with each other. And of course, always thinking about layering pieces in case the weather gets chillier. And once I collected everything that I want to take with me, that is when I start the packing process. So we are actually now at this stage. I already collected the things that I would like to bring with me. And I'm going to show you where we are standing now. And I'm going to show you the process of putting everything into the suitcase. Um, this time we are traveling uh, with Viz Air, which has very strict requirements for hand luggages. So the hand luggage which is included in the price is basically just a backpack, a small backpack. So we decided to add an extra luggage that we can take as an other, like as a carry-on as well. So I have a backpack and a small carry-on luggage that I can take. So we will try to fit everything in these two. Yeah, let's jump right in. So uh, this is my small uh, carry-on luggage. Just for comparison's sake, this is my hand. So it's about this size. This luggage has been with me since I moved to Argentina, so already a couple of years. And for the backpack, I don't know yet if I'm gonna take this big one, which is really big, um, or I'm just gonna go with this smaller one, uh, which would be more convenient because obviously in the big one I can fit more stuff. However, when we are gonna maybe do some sightseeing, we will do maybe some hiking, stuff like that, and I want to carry some stuff with me, this would be a more convenient choice. I put all the clothes here that I would like to take, so basically I thought through all the activities that we are going to do and check the weather. The weather is going to be between 25 to 30 degrees Celsius, so it's going to be a really nice summary. However, when we are leaving from here in Vienna, it's going to be 8 Celsius degrees. <laughs> so for the travel day, I chose bulkier items, so I'm definitely going to wear a long pants. I'm going to wear a top and a jean jacket, and then I'm actually going to wear a thick jacket on top because it's going to be really cold when we are leaving from here. Plus, I don't want to be cold on the airplane where they are busting the air conditioning. So bulkier items to wear because it's, very, it's anyway going to be cold at the airport and on the plane is a good trick to minimize the stuff that you have to put into your luggage. And then <laughs> I have been thinking about categories. So there's going to be a pool in the hotel. So I have one swimsuit. There is also a fitness facility. So I have one set of shorts, top and um, gym bra. I have my summer pajamas. And then I have this dress, which can be worn as like an evening dress, but I can also have it as a throw on to the on the top of this uh, swimsuit. I have another evening dress for when we go out for dinner or drinks. Then uh, this one is also for the evenings. It's just a skirt. This is something that I may or may not bring. It depends on whether or not I can fit it in. I have this dress in which I can go sightseeing. I have actually a raincoat. This is a very thin one that can be packed together into a small one just in case it rains. And then I have two outfits with pants here. So I have actually three black tops. I have a cardigan, which I'm gonna actually throw into my backpack in case I need it on the flight. <laughs> and two pants. So I'm taking black tops because they 
all are matching my two pants that I'm taking. So this is overall, let's say, yeah, six, seven outfits. And we are traveling for four days, so that should be enough, even if I'm changing in the evening. What I also have is just a throw on, like a cover um, shawl in case, you know, like I'm going out uh, to a bar or to a restaurant and it's uh, and I'm wearing a summer dress, but then inside they're busting the aircon and I need something to warm me up. So let's try to fit this into my luggage. So first things first, you need to make sure that you are folding your items as small as possible so that they take up as little space as possible. And for that, I like to roll things up because I feel like this is the best way to keep things small. Another important thing is to think about shoes. So I'm going to go in my I'm going to go in my sport shoes, that's the bulkiest of the shoes that I am bringing and I'm just gonna take these sandals and a pair of flip-flops so these are also going on the bottom here what I can do with the shoes normally even with the sandals is that I can put some stuff inside for example, underwear or socks. So this time I'm gonna put socks in. So I'm taking three pairs of socks with me. Obviously I'm gonna wear one pair. <laughs> so let's just put these in here. It protects the shoe as well so that it doesn't get too squished and ruined during the flight. And then I have my panties here. Uh, I'm gonna also squish them inside the shoes, inside the sandals. I will give you a closer look. So basically I put the socks and the underwear inside here so that the sandals are protected and are not squished together. They are holding their shape. Rolling them up also helps to keep them um, wrinkle-free or, well, as wrinkle-free as possible. So I have my gym bra, I have my swim suit and I'm also taking one extra bra. So I'm gonna wear obviously one bra as I'm traveling and I'm taking an other one. I thought through which are the clothes, the tops and the dresses that I'm taking and which are the bras that fit underneath those, so that's why I could minimize the bras to just two pieces and then I'm gonna stack them, uh, stack them into each other so that they take up the least space. And then everything else I'm just gonna try to roll them up as small as possible. So this requires a little bit of extra time to really roll the pieces up, but it is worth it. I button up everything, I zip up everything. That's the easiest way to roll things up.
there you go um it is actually not full so it is full to the brim on this side but actually when i close it it is very very comfortable there is i could put like more stuff on the top here if i wanted to and i could even open this one up to make it a bit taller so that there is definitely enough space still however i had to pack my book uh, one uh, wire bag when for when we are out and about an other bag like a tote bag in case i'm buying something um well i would like to take my hat which i probably won't be able to pack but i'm going to just take it in my hand and this one is just for my ticket and for my phone and my passport <laughs> and of course i need to take snacks i need to take water bottle i need to take cosmetics and sunscreen and makeup and medicine and all the random rest of the things like travel essentials earplugs for sleeping and also this is for this is a pillow for the flight but i'm also taking sunglasses and a converter because they have a different kind of plug than here in v in austria um, you know, disinfection wipes, a game. <laughs> so let's try to pack these. So I'm going to show you now how am I packing my cosmetics. So as you know, on a flight, you cannot really take this kind of big item. So when it comes to uh, liquids and makeup and creams and disinfection and all kinds of like hygiene products you have to be careful on what you take we are going to stay in a hotel i assume that there will be body wash in the bathroom so i'm actually not going to take any soap or body wash or um, stuff like that however i'm going to take my shampoo because that is important to me uh, to know what i'm putting on my hair and on my head so for shampoo for conditioner body wash face wash what you can uh, do to trick the system which is you can only bring maximum of 100 milliliters uh, of packages rather than buying them from each of these the small one get the bar version this the solid version of the of the item you can get shampoo bars you can get conditioner bars you can get face wash bars soap these days there is everything in bar version well not everything but a lot of things now so i this one and this is another trick so this is my shampoo bar and another trick is to put your shampoo bar into an onion sack like this this will help it to foam up and you know because i also struggled with that before that my shampoo bars would not feel the same as the shampoo from the plastic bottle because it wasn't foaming up as much and somehow i felt like my hair wasn't getting clean but if you use this trick this will foam so i'm gonna pack this up into my handy dandy lash container And this way, this doesn't count into my limit of 100 milliliter items because even though you can take liquids up to 100 milliliters, you can also not take as many as you want because sometimes they limit that you can only have just one bag of, of things. Uh, once when I was in the UK, I had two bags like this full with liquids and they told me I can only keep one. So yeah, that was a bit tricky. Um, you can also uh, use like crystal deodorant or um, solid deodorant instead of liquid one. However, this time I'm gonna bring this one just because this is the easiest to use, more convenient. I can throw it in my bag and I can use it anytime during the day. I don't have to be in a bathroom. I don't have to be near um, water where I need to wet my hands to use my deodorant. So I'm gonna use this one. This is 50 milliliters, so that one uh, is coming. 
face wash same thing i have a face wash bar that i just put into this old bird's bees hand cream uh, holder or hand cream container and i'm gonna just take my face wash like that uh, what is for me quite tricky because i have very very fair skin is sunscreen so i'm definitely taking a 50 spf 50 sunscreen for my face this is 75 milliliters but it's almost empty so i really hope that it's gonna be enough for the four days of traveling however i need also for my body it's gonna be 30 degrees so my shoulder is gonna be out my maybe my chest area is gonna be out my back and even my legs are gonna be out and i have this other sunscreen which is only 30 uh, spf and this one i have been using for my face or I can actually use it for my face as well as my body and this is 100 milliliters so I'm gonna take this but actually my go-to sunscreen for my body is this Hawaiian tropic one and what I thought about doing is that I have this empty lush container so I'm just gonna pour from this 180 milliliter container which I cannot take on the fly I'm gonna pour some into here so that I have enough sunscreen for my body because maybe this might not be enough and maybe i have to also share so i just want to make sure i have enough sunscreen uh, so i'm just gonna do that this one is also getting empty soon well it's still like i can feel that there is enough in it still but it just doesn't want to come out But I would say with the amount of sunscreen that I have there, an additional amount in this slash container should be enough for four days. So that's sunscreen and this one is staying. Then um, I have some other liquids, <clears throat> for example, for my face, I have some serums. So I'm gonna take with me my um, hyaluronic acid serum. I'm going to take this moisturizer, which is 50 milliliters. And then for makeup removal, I am not using wipes because, well, they are not so efficient in my opinion or in, in my experience. And they are also quite uh, unsustainable, always using uh, wipes. Um, so I tend to use jojoba oil for removing makeup, especially eye makeup. And what I do is that I have an old niacinamide serum uh, bottle that I just refill from this bottle. What I need to do, however, and um, the same goes for my rose hip oil. So I have this big rose hip oil, but I don't want to take this big glass jar with me, even though it's 100 milliliters, so I could, but I want to take something smaller. Um, and this is usually also on my bedside, so I actually always uh, put these big ones into these small ones, not just for traveling, but actually just now they are quite low, so that's why I need to refill them, so I'm going to do that now. I'm not putting them full, just in case there's an accident and then they would break or anything. I don't want to lose <laughs> all of it. So here you go. My rosehip oil that I use during or in the night, I just mix it up with my moisturizer for, for moisturizing <laughs> and my makeup remover jojoba oil. Then for toner, I have my own uh, toner that I mix up and it's also in this small jar, which is only 30 milliliters. So I'm just gonna mix my normal chamomile tea, apple cider vinegar and tea tree oil mix in here. And I'm just gonna take that one with me for as a toner. And then um, I'm going to try to take my CBD oil because I am having trouble with sleeping and this should help. <laughs> and those are the liquids. Well, other liquids that I have are 
my concealer, my mascara and my BB cream and the hand sanitizer. And I have my contact lenses. I'm gonna take a new package of contact lenses and I put contact lens liquid in both of these holders so I can probably survive the weekend, the long weekend with just this amount of liquid and the new uh, package of uh, contact lenses. And I am taking just a sample for perfume. And the rest is not liquid because I have some eyeliners, I have a lip liner, I have one lipstick, I have my face powder, I have uh, one uh, chapstick, toothbrush and uh, floss. And I have my face sculptor for makeup, so it's not that much makeup. I have some small hair ties for when I want to braid my hair. I have this hair tie and I will take probably one or two more hair ties and then I should be able to put these all in these two bags. I also have one mirror with me and some blotting paper and I have my handy set of uh, makeup brushes for the face sculptor and the powder. When it comes to medicine or medication, I don't really take much. I have this little medication box and then I'm just gonna put some uh, painkillers in here um, and that's it basically. So I have my medication I'm storing in here and what I'm gonna do is just to take some ibuprofen with me and I have um, one throat um, disinfector that's a leftover, I don't have any more. So I'm just gonna take some painkillers and that's it. I don't take any medication, so I should uh, survive with just this amount. What could be still useful to take, and maybe I will consider taking some of these. These are uh, plasters, I believe. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take a few different sizes, just, uh, just in case anything happens. That should be enough, just a few different sizes. And that's it. Luckily, I don't have to think about having my period in, during these days, so I don't have to take any period product. Um, let's put the makeup and these things in here. So these plasters can go in this bag. The makeup is going here as well. What I'm also putting here because it makes sense is my sunscreen because I'm gonna put my sunscreen on and then I'm gonna put the makeup on. I'm gonna also put my contact lens stuff in this one. I'm gonna put the blotting paper and the mirror in here. And the hair products. They also make sense to put them in here. This one is going just into my backpack. Uh, I'm also gonna put the perfume in this bag. The disinfector I'm also just going to put in the handbag. And I'm gonna put the rest of the things in here. Uh, what you might be missing is a toothpaste and the, uh, honestly, I'm just gonna use the toothpaste of my travel companion. Hopefully he will bring some. <laughs> that would be a bit problematic if he wouldn't. Just make sure that everything is closed properly because you don't want to have accidents. Oops. I was really hoping that I can fit everything into these bags and let's see. There you go. It does fit and then the medicine will go into just the backpack. I'm 
not taking vitamins with me, I should be able to last four days be without without any vitamins. So I'm gonna try to put everything in this bag actually. Water bottle, very important. My passport is going in here together with my phone and the tickets. So there are these small little pockets in the front. I'm gonna put some items there. For example, the medicine is going there, earphones. Disinfection, disinfecting wipes, chopstick. This one can go into my luggage, maybe. Maybe. You see? Ear, ear plugs. Eye patch for when I want to sleep on the flight. My pillow for the flight is coming in here. My purse, there is an extra pocket inside, perfect. Just a small game. My glass holder, my normal for my normal glasses, these are my sunglasses. Chewing gum. A pen, <laughs> some snacks, which I'm going to get some more maybe tomorrow before our flight. And I'm also gonna probably pack one or two sandwiches for breakfast because we are flying early in the morning. So before that, we are not going to eat breakfast. And my tissues. Yeah, I can put this one here. And then these all should also fit in this backpack. Perfect. There is space for the sandwiches still. Uh, what I can still do in case my sandwiches wouldn't fit or my snacks, I can take these two out and I can actually put them in the other luggage. What I can do is I can still put this in here because basically I need easy access for my to my passport and my tickets only at the airport anyway. So until I get to the airport, I can even put this one inside here and only at the airport I will take it out and put it on my shoulder. And I just have to buckle it up. I have to cut this one off and I'm ready to go. One tiny little correction. Um, one of my cardigans, the black one, should also go in here. And we are ready to go! Bye! Oh no, I forgot my hat.